for the for the world. That's right. So, what do you guys remember about the magazine reviews? What were the magazines? I miss it. Yeah, that was fire. The rap pages, rap. Rap pages. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, source. Uh, uh, rap pages. Source and XXL. XXL. Yeah. Uh, it was a few of them, man. Yeah, we showed up in all of them, man. I used to listen. I miss this. I used to go to the when I had a rap album in my man. I used to go to the grocery store and walk down the aisle where the magazine was, man. That's just right. to see, just to see if we made it in one of these magazines. Oh, and then right. somebody be walking by the store, I'd be like, "Hey, you recognize anybody in that picture?" <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, that's the beginning days, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was dope. That was that was. Now they don't even have it. Nope, not at all. Could you guys talk a little bit uh, about your favorite tour lineup that you went on during this time? Tour lineup. Lineup. Because ah. we've been because we've been going on tours every year since. What year was that, Raw? We went out there with Delta Funk and Homo Sapien. Uh, was that the Buds and Suds tour? What year is that? Two thousand what? Sixteen, fifteen. No, it wasn't that late. Or was it? I thought it was seven. We've been touring since okay. like every year we've been touring. Yeah, that's, uh, Devin, that's the tour I was gonna say pretty, pretty phenomenal. Yeah, uh, we got it's, with it's uh, been, Devin and hieroglyphics. Yeah, uh, hieroglyphics. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, I was gonna say that or the one with burner and them. Is that the same one? No. Nah. Yeah, that's a different tour. You know, they have them every year, so we start running them together, right? I know, man. <laughs> it's crazy. That, that was that was a pretty live one. With Only us. time we missed tours was COVID. 2020. Two years. Yeah, we missed two two year tours during COVID. Besides that, we've been whether we was relevant or not, we've been out there with Big Brother, you know, working it. Right. Yeah, uh, so you know, Dale La Funky Homo sapien. Yeah, that was dope. And we did a tour with Red Man and them before. Uh, what was that tour? High School High? Mm. Mm -hmm. We did a few dates on that one for us, the squad. But yeah, Devin mm -hmm. been several, you know, and pull us along on, you know, majority, a lot of them. But yeah, it's been, I'm trying to think of some other people we done did tours with, Rob. Uh, let's see. Then usually it would be our tour. <laughs> yeah, it'd be our tour. We the closest. That's probably why it's hard to. <laughs> yeah, that's why we ain't naming nobody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. The only reason why I remember Red Man is because we wasn't two uh, closest. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once uh, that debut album did its thing, did you guys have another follow up release on Rap a Lot that was supposed to come out? No, we just did demos. We like I say, we just really. Uh... Played the background like, oh. at that time we was going through as far as you know getting a uh, home bases we had we went through a couple studios during the time you remember uh we had like two or three studio spots during that little whole little era yeah and so you know i i, I think like i said when the decision was made uh, to do our big bro solo stuff then that's just when it kind of you know like i said did a, we did a dope demo that's still fire, man. I got to see. I, 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 I tell you, I ran across a couple of those songs. Uh -uh. I sent them to you. They, they, yeah, they, yeah. They, Please send me And uh, yeah, we just, yeah, we didn't, we didn't do a follow up. We just did a few demos and that was it. And then eventually, it ain't like we just only really did Art Squad. We did the one album named our squad but what but we, we did, did was coffee brothers album we evolved into a clique called the coffee brothers so we done did one two three coffee brother albums and right. you can say that that, that was our squad a few yeah months. yeah because we yeah we created the coffee brothers our squad you know it's groups in the coffee brothers though you got the uh, i can't name them all but you got 3bn 14k yeah, yeah. It's groups that make up the Coffee Brothers. One of the groups that make up Coffee Brothers, of course, is the R Squad. That's right. Right. So it's like R Squad, 14K, 3BN. It's groups. It's like they all got solo albums, but 
we make up the Confer brothers. That's right. Right. And I'm going to ask you the, this question individually, and you guys give me your opinion. Rob Quest, overall, were you pleased uh, with that debut album? Was there anything missing or anything that uh, you hope to accomplish that didn't get accomplished? Were you uh, completely satisfied with the overall pro uh, product? Yes and no. I wish I would have listened uh, more to the group as far as the production. I made a lot of production decision based on what I wanted. I kind of learned that later with conversations with Dev. You know, it was certain uh, I allowed other individuals to have input on the album. And it was and the reason why is probably my lack of confidence. And you know, Dev told me later, he's like, man, a lot of that stuff that I allowed, like, you know, I, I don't even know if I even she even say this on an interview like but I, I, I would just leave it at that. Yes and no. I wouldn't have changed anything, but, you know, I learned later that, you know, y'all were telling me certain things, you know, Jug and Dad was like, man, we don't need to, man, leave it like how it was, you know? Mm -hmm. and Rob, a perfectionist, uh, sir. Hey, Rob, we had, a, that's had something to do with the studio budget too, but, Rob will work on the track and make sure it's like what he, you know, and on the cool, me in the background, looking back now, I wanted him to touch it long as he wanted to touch it. Right. But the powers that be and other people, we had cutoffs and deadlines and things of that nature. Because it would have been more expensive than that, but I, I would have kind of, uh, they have so that's probably some of his no. The arrangements and the production a little more in a raw original form. That's that's what I'm gonna take. That's what I'm gonna give you what, what I would have uh changed. But other than that, that's it. I still am glad, you know, that was the only thing that I wish I would have probably did a little different. I wish I would have rapped more. Okay. Ex expand a little I bit. Too, okay. Hey, I was too green to rap then. I rap, boy, you boy, right now, though, boy, woo, woo. <laughs> I'm looking for anything and everything. I want it all. I want all the smoke now. That's right. <laughs> so overall, but, Jug Mug, were you complete? Uh, was you satisfied with the complete project? Of course, man. I was just glad to have a project. So, you know, I'm talking from a different level, man. I was, I ain't ashamed to say this, too. Raw probably going to put his head down because he know when I say this. Look. <laughs> I'm in a group with two geniuses. I'm not ashamed to say. I'm the third one. Devin is a genius, obviously the world know now. And that's one right here on this screen with you. I know I'm the third one. I don't make beats. I just grip mics tight now. I grip the mic tight though. But I'm in a group with two geniuses. So being around them has elevated my music game. Devin, I let me watch how I say this. Devin is dope. But Devin has got even doper later, but Devin got dope dealing with, Rob taught us to hear better, if that <laughs> makes any sense. I mean, when you sit in Rob's room, when you sit in there, we cut off everything. Rob be like, y'all listen, y'all hear that? Me, I'm quick to speak up. Yeah, I hear that train over there. Yeah, <laughs> it's a train running over there. We be listening with our ears. We listen. Yeah. I say, yeah, I hear that train. He said, no, I ain't talking about that train. Listen harder. This, I think that nigga would listen over three, four neighborhoods. This nigga <laughs> can listen from third ward to the north side with his ears. I'm going to probably exaggerate, but I'm just saying he actually taught me and Devin how to listen better. I, I'm going to say that. Right. right. And my ears is keen these days. Right. <laughs> Rob Quest, what do you think it is about this album that people are still talking about it 30 years later? Uh, really just the, at the time the production was, uh, was very unique. Uh, back then, uh, we were interpolating samples that we had on, like, that's basically, we were replaying the sample using instruments, getting it as close as possible. Like, things that they're doing now, they're creating samples now, they're making have plugins to make it sound like it's vintage. You know, we were doing that kind of stuff back then. And I think the uh, wittiness and sure 
just a uh, comedic level. Yeah. Not you know, taking it serious like that. The cre creativity, of, you know, especially at that time, it was nothing like it. And I think that's, you know, Deb was singing on hooks. You know, people really weren't singing. The artists yeah, rapping, singing They weren't singing on hooks. Like that. That started a wave. Yes. Right. Yes, facts. And, and I'm going to use a magazine quote, the little write-ups, how they used to describe us. I'm going to just say this one little sentence. They used to say, a breath of fresh air. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even though we were raunchy and we had the blowfly Richard Pryor's. It was different. But it was different. It was still fun. It still made, Hard. It still made you laugh. And I just don't remember nobody just advocating marijuana use that much in songs like that, like how we was. We were straight weed uh, in we 1994. <laughs> Jug Mug, your opinion. Why are people still talking about this album 30 years later? Um, I want to say this humbly as possible. I guess they consider it a classic. And the classic, I guess, is from the elements of what Rob and what we are talking about. The difference, the difference of it, the unique of it. We wasn't uh, following industry guidelines. I guess we was doing us. And had fun with it. And I guess the fun uh, displayed over to the music. So I guess they see it was a good thing. And it, like I said, it was different at the time. So yeah. I think that's what the difference was. No doubt. Before we wrap this up, we talked a little bit earlier about uh, how much the album cost. Uh, what did all that stem from? Long studio sessions. We were in a major studio. I'm not sure what the price was, but it, it was. Taking time, $50 an hour, and we was doing eight and 10 hour blocks in this studio. Creating, taking our time, no interruptions, let us create, and we just, our first time having this accessibility to create, and we didn't want to, you know, try to come with the best stuff we know, so we just kind of took our time with it. And we, we had things that were already ready, but we've came up with songs in the studio. So yeah. that, that took a little time actually creating and writing in the studio. Normally you don't do that. Right. We actually created I, some studio. Few some few of the songs. We just did right. Yeah. Right. No doubt. I want to thank you two so much for joining me this evening on one of my favorite albums. Before we get out of here, uh, what do you guys have coming up individually and as a collective uh, together? Rock Solid Logic is the name of my EP. 40% uh, produced by this, this gentleman on your screen right here. Okay. And uh, I'm trying to drop it by summertime. Working on a little distribution right now and things of that nature. So I got a project called Rock Solid Logic. The old man finna try to hit you with it and get with it. And I promise it won't be disappointing. I, I still got something to say. Yes, right. sir. And that's what I got going on. Rob? Uh, well, my man Deb is about to drop a new album. He got a single out right now called Another Wild Freestyle by me. And the album is dropping soon. Also, uh, I'm looking to maybe a compilation of my own uh, with a lot of the rappers I know. And, uh, you know, that probably will include a lot of the Coffee Brothers. So that's what I got bubbling right now, doing some TV and uh, film sync licensing. That's 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 what I want to do also. So that all that's coming up. Yes, sir. All right. Can you guys uh, talk a little bit about your social media and where the supporters can follow you guys at? Okay. Uh, I can be reached at uh, Blind Rob. That's B-L-Y. Rob, the visionary on Instagram. Same thing on Facebook, Blind Rob the Visionary. And myself, Jug Mug, spent with two G's, because I'm getting older now. When I was young, <laughs> one G, call me double G now. <laughs> Jug Mug the Juggernaut. When I get in my 60s, I'm going to still be rapping. Put three G's on it then. But anyway, <laughs> Jug Mug the Juggernaut is my platform at Instagram. 
on Facebook. I ain't figured it out yet. You got to know my government. I ain't going to even get my Facebook out. <laughs> Jug mug the juggernaut. No doubt. And before we get out of here, any last words for your supporters who have been down with you guys since day one? Keep messing with us, man. We still cooking. Rob, stay cooking, man. Rob cook every day. <laughs> thank you. Thank and, you. So yes. every been down with us for all this time, man. Love to see you at a show. And uh, let's keep rocking out. And we're going to see you at a city near you. David finna go on a European tour right now. When he get back, I'm sure we're going to do a U.S. Yep. American tour. Journalists, we missed you. Me and Rob missed that last tour. Rob, he was, what were you going to meet us at? Louisville. Louisville. He, he uh, was Louisville. That's right. I'm in Indiana, but I was going to drive to see you guys in Louisville. In Louisville. Rob, you remember the last tour we had to miss? Yes, I this, do. The last tour, the one we just, the yep. last, latest, yeah. We caught a couple of dates. We did dates. Oh, yeah, we did do the end date. That's right. Yeah, we, we did, did do the whole Orleans, tour. Dallas and um, another little spot. Yeah, that was that was odd not going on tour that year. Everybody was telling me they was looking for us and stuff. I like that. See, that's what I want to keep up and make that bill. Absolutely. You know? So, yeah. so hopefully we'll is. we'll definitely link up in the near future. I'm definitely gonna keep in touch with you guys. Like I said, I appreciate everything you've done for the culture, uh, and congratulations again on this uh, 30th anniversary. Yes, appreciate that you. is Rob Quest. That's my man Jug Mug. Thank yeah. you guys, and Thank have you. a great evening. We'll see you again soon. Yes, yes sir. sir. Peace right. and love. Peace. Peace. Thank you guys so much. Yes, sir. Call you a minute, Rock.